What more do you need to accomplish before you can be perfectly content? When will you finally be able to rest at that place of fulfillment and peace and joy that we all seek? What are you waiting for? Many people do seem to be waiting somehow. A lot of us, I think, see contentment as something that can only be achieved in the future, only after we've fixed all the circumstances of our lives. And so we go about working. We work in school to get a good job, then we work at that job to get a promotion, then we work at that promotion to get this house and that car, we work in the gym to get that body or lose that many pounds, we work socially to get those friends or that husband or that wife. Many people live their life as a series of attempts to perfect all the circumstances around them, as if some beautiful day in the future, they'll finally have that perfect, delicious, juicy moment of ecstasy and bliss and fulfillment where they can stop and say, yes, I made it. This is the place I've always been working towards. It's almost as if the present is some kind of obstacle, a hurdle which must be overcome in order to get to the destination to get to the finish line, which lays ahead. There is no finish line. There is no destination. Because as Alan Watts said, life is not a race, it's a dance. And you don't dance to get anywhere, you dance to dance. And all of this dance, our entire life, takes place in the present moment, here and now. Isn't this moment just as important of a moment to enjoy as any other moment in your life? Isn't this the only moment in which we can enjoy? The highest contentment, the purest bliss, the deepest ecstasy, whatever it is that you're seeking, it can only ever possibly be experienced here and now. Because here and now is all that life is made of. Find peace now. Break this crippling habit of having your peace and joy depend on the circumstances around you. Empower yourself, if only for a split second, to say, I am 100% okay with the way things are right now. Because we can only get the contentment and joy that we're seeking when we stop seeking. Honor and embrace what the present moment has brought you. Remember that it's only the false, illusory, egoic self which can ever judge these circumstances as imperfect or insufficient. The pure, empty consciousness, which is all that you fundamentally, truly are, cannot judge. It can only be aware. It can only be receptive to, and therefore at peace with, the circumstances of your life right now. If you go beyond this tendency of judging your life as good or bad, fulfilling or not, and you just observe what's going on, you simply witness what's passing into your awareness, then necessarily, at that moment, you are at peace. Your state of being, which is the quality of your life, is fully in your control. That beautiful place of peace and joy and contentment, which you've been seeking your entire life, is one decision away.